assalamu alaikum friends welcome to my channel and in this tutorial i am going to show you that how can you create a uh, elevation map of your country with the help of dem data just like this for performing this analysis you need uh, the dem data uh, you can use google earth engine or you can use a lot of uh, tiles that are covering the whole country and after performing mosaicing analysis on it you can clip your uh, country region of interest and so but now in this case there's a website that is known as diva.gis providing free spatial data and they are also providing dem data of whole country so let's go to the website okay just write diva.gis on google and go to free spatial data country level data and select your country name okay from here you can select elevation country mask data this is them data of whole country and okay and download in this case i have already downloaded this data but when you drag and drop this dem data on arc map it is showing that unknown spatial reference this data don't have coordinate system the coordinate file is missing over here so you have to do a relative georeferencing of this raster data with the any map that having coordinates or with any shape file okay in this case i have already georeferenced this raster data so here is the file now when i drag, drag and drop this raster data on arc map it did not show any pop-up of unknown spatial reference because I have georeferenced this raster data and its coordinate system is WGS 1984 so if you want to know that how to perform relative georeferencing you can click on top on top right corner okay in this video I have showed the three type of uh, georeferencing uh, absolute georeferencing relative georeferencing and georeferencing with the help of scale and drag tool so I perform relative georeferencing uh, with this shape file of my country we have dem data over here if i will click on this darkish area then it will show the lowest elevation values like 1 3 130 meters above sea level and if i click over here on brighter zone then it will show that its uh, pixel value is 5721 meter above sea level so let's go to properties and uh, go to symbology classified make six uh, we will make six classes of this and okay we will make six classes of this range and uh, select okay now the area that is in between minus 15 to 438 meter above sea level is representing with a dark uh, black color and so on okay now here we have uh, create six classes of this range of the ranges of this data and now we will go to search and write here re classify reclassify spatial analysis tool input will be your raster data and you uh, you can change your classes from over here we want six classes with natural break okay you can select your output destination from over here and why why are we using this reclassify tool actually uh, reclassify tool is used for reclassifying or reassigning values in a raster data set this tool is essential for converting continuous data into discrete categories or into classes so actually we are using uh, this tool for data simplification or categorization so let's run this tool and we will get another raster data okay we have performed reclassify analysis on our raster data and now over here the whole first class is actually representing all pixel values that are in between minus 15 to 438 meters above sea level so if i will click on first class then 
the this area uh, region of interest will highlight and if i will select the sixth class then the highest elevation that are in between 4 4451 to 8238 meters are highlighted so clear the selection and now we will perform a raster to polygon analysis on this reclassify raster raster data set so just right over here uh, raster to polygon input will be your reclass tiff raster data and uh, you can assign and the destination to your output and run this tool okay here we have converted our raster data into vector data and that is actually the polygons and let's have a look on attribute tables uh, over here now this grid code number uh, the six are actually representing the six class and now we will perform dissolve tool analysis on this so all the six classes will dissolve into one polygon so go to your processing dissolve input will be your vector data and we want to dissolve grid code in attribute and you can assign your destination to your uh, to your output and select ok okay now again have a look, look on attribute data now you can see over here that all the polygon that have uh, the grid code grid code is actually representing the class class one grid code one now i if i will select the first polygon grid code now it is showing uh, the elevation values that are in between uh, minus 15 to 438 meter above sea levels and the six grid code six polygon is actually representing the highest elevations of this region so unselect your selection and go to properties go to properties and symbology and categorize your data grid code add values and now you can give color okay over here i have selected the gray color for this class and we don't want decimal values so we will remove these values from over here okay now it's quite good and now if you want to calculate the areas or other information other geometry information you can uh, uh, change the geography coordinate system of this this uh, this vector data into projected coordinate system and you can also find the geometries of uh, each classes 
ओके नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ लेआउट फॉर दिस डेटा सेट एंड जस्ट क्लिक ओवर हेयर लेआउट व्यू दिस सो फॉर क्रिएटिंग अ मैप वी हैव टू एड द कार्टोग्राफिक रूल्स लाइक एलिमेंट्स लाइक नॉर्थिंग एरो टाइटल स्केल बार और लिजेंड सो ऑल ऑफ दिस थिंग uh can be done on this layout view so first of all we will add a title of this map so go to insert and title elevation map of pakistan you can make double click over here and you can also customize this text from here you can change the style or you can make it bold you can make it large just like this okay now we will add a northing arrow in this layout so from here you can add a northing arrow arc map has provided a lot of styles of northing arrow you can select your own i will go with this one you can also make double click on this north thing arrow and you can also customize this to so now we will add a scale bar by making double click on this scale bar you can also customize this scale bar now you can add legends from over here and park adm 0 is actually the boundary of pakistan and this is actually uh, this data will actually contain the values of these ranges now go to next and you can also customize your legend from over here you can change the style and font and from over here if you want borders around your legend you can select the size of border line from over here i don't want border around my legend so next next finish okay over here i don't want this raster t underscore re class uh, in my legend so just make double click over here just remove this by deleting this text and i don't want this cell so let's go to properties uncheck this cell and okay okay here i also don't want park underscore adm0 so double click over here at boundary okay over here with the help of this tool you can add more information in your map uh, like if you want to add a base map beside your uh, this uh data you can add a base map from over here and add base map and if you want to add information more information just like uh, i want uh, for example uh, i will i am going to use this text tool from uh, in this layout so here i want to add any text like uh, this you can decrease the size of your text and you can also perform 
and do customization on this text in other case you don't want to add base map uh, in your maps and you want to change the theme or background of your uh, this uh, layout uh, so just right click over here and go to properties and uh, go to frame background from here you can select different styles just like this okay if you want to add grids or coordinates in your layout right click over here go to properties and uh, new grid you can select your coordinate system from over here okay okay finish okay now you can see that uh, i don't want the grids inside my layout so again go to properties and then grids select your grid and go to its properties and don't in lines don't do not show lines or ticks okay okay and now it's quite good okay now here you can see that it's up to you that how can you uh, visualize your data your analysis your layout perfectly to everybody so if you want to export your map uh, go to file export map and you can select your destination from over here and save now here is that layout that we have recently exported from arc map so many thanks for watching this tutorial and if you want to make elevation map of other countries like india or iran or afghanistan or any other countries you can use the mask elevation data that is available in diva.gis or you can also export your data from google earth engine or from other sources so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more content like this and click the notification bell so you will never miss any update many thank Allah Hafiz